بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ای اکنا بدو و ای اکنا ستائین اسلام علیکم بامس اسکور دیار میں ویلکم آج کی ٹاپک ایز دا تھرڈ پارٹ آف دا فنکشن گروپس بٹ اوور ہیو وی آر ناٹ ڈسکسنگ دا ون وچ آر کنٹیننگ کاربن ہائیڈروجن اینڈ آکسیجن وی آر ڈسکسنگ دا ون وچ کنٹین نائٹروجن اینڈ ہائیڈروجن اینڈ کاربن سو دس از دا تھرڈ پارٹ اینڈ ان وچ وی آر کالنگ دا گروپ ایز امائن او گروپ سو دا کلاس آر سمپلی امائنس اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو پٹ وین ایور یو آر سجیسٹنگ اٹس نیم یو ہیو ٹو گیو دا نیم آف دا کلاس ایز امائنس Our pack rate is called as alkanamine and um, you have to replace the E of alkane and directly writing amine. So you are writing as alkanamine but pronounced as alkamine. So our pack name, uh, function group is uh, valency NH2, general formula is RNH2 and the classification of amines is very important because you are having primary amines, secondary amines and tertiary amines. Okay, the point to be noted over here is that its classification is a bit different than the classification which we have discussed in case of alcohols. Because if you remind that whole thing in your mind, you come to know that um, we categorize the classification of alcohols as the one carbon which is attached with or which is further attached with one other carbon. But now over here, there is no such situation. We classified a primary amines as the one which is attached with one other carbon. And say that nitrogen is having two hydrogen and one spare valency or and obviously the times comes when this spare valency is satisfied with R. So you know that nitrogen is having total three valencies and uh, two lone pairs. It can capable of forming three bond pairs and one lone pair. So when you move in the primary mines two valencies are satisfied with hydrogen and one is the spare valency which is um, satisfied or which it directly attached with carbon so you, know, you are having primary amines as this which is directly attached with one other carbon so as far as the general formula is concerned you are having rnh2 and the examples is ch3 nh2 uh this ch3 nh2 is named as because this whole is ch3 methyl r group and the name of the class should be there so the name is methyl amine when you go for its iopec name it is uh, called as methane methane you have to replace e of methane and write simply amine so methanamine or methamine second situation is that instead of whole r you are having two carbons that is ethyl group so ethyl amine or ethan amine simply uh, thirdly propyl amine and propyl amine simply now we move towards the secondary amines where the nitrogen is directly attached to two other carbons or if you compare it with the reference of hydrogen having just one hydrogen obviously two spare valencies are there was a time comes it attached with carbon atoms so yeah when you satisfy with bo the both uh, bonds with r they are secondary amines of the general formulas the example is that instead of having both r you are having that small ch3 groups methyl group so yes it's commonly called as dimethylamine as two methyl groups are there so simply called as dimethyl amine but the iopec name is not so simple it is called as um, n methyl and this is the whole base where ch3 is along with the functional group so this is called as methanamine so one is taken as a substituent and another is taken as a base so methyl and methyl methanamine second situation where both r groups are different so um if you recall that the name of the ethers in your mind it is or the name of the ketones in your minds the common name you can uh, call it like uh, methyl ethyl, ethyl methylamine because you have to follow the alphabetical orders over here but when you go for the iopac naming what you do is that you have to suggest that which one is taken as a substituent so the smallest group is taken as a substituent and while n goes with the bigger group so the name is n methyl ethanamine acha the iopac system is quite different from that of ethers because in a case of ethers o goes with the smaller r and the bigger r is named as a parent 
but the over here the situation is different because smaller r is taken as a substituent and n goes with the bigger um, group so uh, we uh, come across to the third part which is called as tertiary amines thirdly it's tertiary amines the nitrogen is attached with three other carbons and when you place r with three nitrogens you get the general formula so far we are going towards the example this is trimethylamine but the name of iopacly it's not simple you have to name it as n n dimethyl methanamine because two are taken as a substituent as the chances of numbering is not possible so two are taken as a substituent n n dimethyl and this ch3 goes with the parent chain or goes with the function groups called as methanamine or methamine okay the last situation is where three substituents are entirely different so follow the alphabetical orders e comes before the name and m comes before the p so ethyl methyl and n propyl amine why we write n propyl because the chances of isopropyl is there and in case of isopropyl it attached with the second carbon but over here it is attached with the primary carbon of propyl that's why it is called as ethyl methyl and propyl and iopically the situation is the situation is like n ethyl then n methyl and then propen amine because the one with the larger number of carbon atoms goes with the uh, function group n and um, you have to, you have to take these two as a substituent e comes before then m so n ethyl and methyl propen amine is the iopic name I hope that um, today's lecture is very helpful uh, for you all to understand amines, its classification. Till then, we go for the fourth part of function groups, and from that side, from till then, Allah Hafiz from my side.